Ramblin' Man here. All right, so it, it is that time of the week, We're talking about divorce. So, if you know, I've been going over the five stages of divorce. Sometimes people have seven stages, but the five stages are are legit. You 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 probably go through every single one of these. I went through every single one. Um, the first week we talked about denial. You go through denial, then you go through anger, then you're bargaining. What ifs? The part I'm going to talk about today is um, depression. Now, this is the part, so you can go through those first three stages. You can go through, like, you know, the what ifs, the, um, and you can be really, really pissed off. Then you can go through the bargaining where, what if I do this? What if I do that? You know, please, Lord, if you can do this, then I'll do this, you know? When you get to the depression part, it's normal to go through this, but you, you want to get through this as quick as possible. When I say that, I'm not saying like, okay, I, I felt good. I, that's great. I, I felt bad for a day. It's not going to be like that. But you don't want to get stuck in depression. It, it's normal to feel this because you feel lonely. You feel um, hurt. And you feel like life is not fair. It's not going to ever turn around again. I kept having to remind myself, like, I, I would go for runs. Remember I told you I would I would just try to burn stuff off when I was angry and stuff. Then I went through a part where I would take off running, and because I ran a lot. And w along with depression, though, because I was so depressed, I didn't feel like eating. And so it was easy. It was like, man, if you ever want to go through a diet plan, go through depression. Because I did not feel like, I could care less. I just felt nauseous. If I ate, I was like, ugh. Cause I felt sick because I felt empty. You feel empty and alone. And here's the thing. What you don't realize, like the, just my, I'll give you an example. I, I I didn't lose anyone at that time except I was losing my wife. Now, I felt like I was completely losing my kids. And you, you, lo you lose certain aspects of that. I mean, by what I mean is like, I remember being at, home at night and the kids come and jump on in the bed like hey mom dad you know that kind of thing they want to talk to you and stuff you won't have that again I mean they may live with you and you may have that but it will never quite be the same um, the good thing for me mine are a little older but still you deal with different aspects of that you feel just alone because you have to deal with these things no matter if you have someone to talk to you have ones to cry on uh, someone's shoulder to cry on you have even if you're talking to a therapist, it doesn't matter. You still are going to face that alone. That's what it's going to feel like. Um, so I went through, and like I said, I, I ran a lot. And I would be running, and I would listen to all kinds of music. But I would, I would listen. To, I started listening to more Christian music uh, when I was running. And that's not the best music to run to, but I mean, I would just really get into it. I'd go, but some songs hit the feels. I'm telling you, your emotions just boom. And I would be running, and next thing you know, I had to stop because I was crying. And and not because, even so, it was just a breaking point. It was a point of, you can live in depression, and then when that's releasing, you just can't help. I mean, it was just flowing. And, and I didn't do it crying in front of all my friends or anything like that. It was just me. Just me out there. In the middle of the road, just, uh, and you, and you feel weak, because you feel like, man, I'm such a loser. I felt like all kinds of things. This is the stage when some people like, you know, they end their life and, and stupid things like that. I'm going to tell you why that's stupid. Because what you have to remember is, if you tell me then that I'd be sitting here right now talking about this, I'd be like, no way. I, I couldn't talk about it. There's no way because I was beat up and broken. I was broken. And I felt alone. I didn't have anybody. I spent my time at the bars because why? Because I could be around people. And if you're around people and you're talking constantly and you're moving and talking and moving and talking, you don't have time just to be self-absorbed is the best way to put it. Just sitting there like taking it in and being lonely and saying, what was me? If you're, I, I was for a little while there, I was like doing a second job delivering pizzas and stuff, just staying busy, right? But the bad part about that is if you're doing any of those kind of jobs, you get in the car to deliver and the whole way you're going somewhere your mind's working and so your loneliness just creeps up on you and it's prevalent i mean it's right there guys i'm telling you depression 
is a real thing and, and unless you've gone through something like that some people deal with depression all the time they're on medication for it and i feel for them before this i used to be like how does someone stay depressed i mean i don't know how somebody is sad here's the thing that's a sickness it's, it's a mental illness okay just like anxiety just like all these different things ocd which i do have but when you get to uh mental illness anything like that when there's depression sometimes it's a trigger that does that right and puts you in depression for a little bit and that's what i dealt with and so now i have a better understanding and i feel for someone who says i'm depressed all the time i'm like man so you understand when you want they want to be around people or hang out because anything to keep them busy, to keep their mind from wandering and be on other things. Because I would beat myself up and I would think to myself, there is no one else here for me. No one cares. No one cares for me, which couldn't be further from the truth. People are telling you, I love you. I am here. If you need me, call me. And I had a couple friends that no matter what I did, I would call them. They would drop what they were doing. And listen to me and I could talk about nothing I could just I just wanted to be just to be with them just have them there whether they're on the phone with me or I'm in person if I'm on the phone with them just hearing their voice I'm be like man and just knowing that they're on the other end for me made me feel better I would say my depression times were probably a good two weeks long almost three it was long and that, that may not seem that long but when you're depressed that's a long time um and i would go through bouts of it sometimes i went for like two or three days just total depression then i just go through certain time frames in the evenings or like when i'm at work you can stay busy 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 as soon as i go get off from work then i would spend about an hour just depressed or little times here and there where i'd usually spend time with family i was depressed just remember this it's it's normal but here's the thing that you have to remember you have to tell yourself when you're going through depression because it's it is key and that is this will end trust me you don't stay in it forever you will not stay in it forever that's the goal is you work through it and tell yourself like let's think about it what am I what have I really lost things I lost I lost like I said my wife at the time but also, I was losing friendships that would never be the same because as a couple, we had friends. And those friends will choose someone, whether that's you or her. It, it doesn't matter. They're going to they're gonna choose and maybe not to rock the boat. And maybe you have one friend that's stronger than the other and they end up choosing her. And not really that they choose her, but they choose to su support her. And it's not that they turn on you. It's just they can't have you both there at the same time. So you felt you feel left out and you feel depressed on that too. I mean, depression is a real thing. Um, it just gets worse and worse. But at some point, it does get better. And you start realizing these are just feelings. Because that's really what they are. They're just feelings. It's not truth. You know, it talks about God, you know, that fear is a liar. That's what it is. It's fear of being alone. It's fear of I'm never going to have the things that I want to have anymore. Here I am four years later, and I've never been happier. But four years ago, you couldn't tell me that. And I, I would, if you had told me that, I'd tell you you're a freaking liar. Because four years ago, at this time right now, I just found out a couple weeks ago that, hey, I'm getting divorced. And it was crushing. But now I'm sitting at a point that I am happily married. Um, I get along with my ex. We are co-parenting. It's... It's great. Life is good. But get past this. Remember, you're going to go through the denial stage. You'll go through the anger stage. You will bargain because you, you, you'll be like, okay, what if this happened? What? Guys, don't, don't, don't lean on that. Just know that each day is a gift from God regardless of how you feel. It is a gift because each day you can start over. So if you have a really bad day, the next day wake up and say, you know what? It hasn't been bad today. It's good until I let it be bad. Control your thoughts. That's the best I can do for you. I'll tell you to control your thoughts and remember, people really do care. And people are really there for you. 
open your eyes because it's real easy to get like tunnel vision and be like no one cares for me you can just see all you can see is this little bit and you're like no one cares for me but if you open your eyes you can see all your friends and they're there for you and they, they don't know what to do they don't know what to do but call them if they're really your friends they'll pick up that phone and be like what can i do for you bud because let's be honest they are there for you they just don't know how to handle it and some of them haven't been through a divorce so they really don't know what to say and they're at a point where i don't know what to say and so what i would suggest for you is if you're depressed and you just really want to talk to someone call say look i don't need you to talk um it's nice if you do just talk but i mean just i want conversation i don't need anything from you monetarily i don't need a hug even i just need some need to know that someone is there they can hear what I'm saying, whether they agree or not. They can hear what I have to say, and then they will talk back to me. I need to know I'm not alone in this. And they'll be more than happy, I promise you, to uh, to help you out. Just remember, you can make it through this, guys. If, you're if you've dealt with this, you know what I'm talking about. If you're dealing with it right now, and you know me, and if you're dealing with it and you're having a rough time, give me a call. I've been there. Call me on Messenger, I don't care, or message me on Messenger and say, hey, can I call you? I have no problem with that. You can take my time. I don't care if it's 2 in the morning because I promise you, you're important to me. I don't sleep that good anyway. Usually I wake up. So I'm telling you, if you need someone to talk to, call me. I may not have the answers for you. I'm not looking to have the answers for you. But if you want to talk and you, and you say, hey... I would like you to talk back to me and let me know what, what what do you think about this or that. I'll give you my answers. But if you're like, look, I just really want to talk. I want to get this off my chest. I want to vent. I'm good at that. You can be angry if you want to. I don't care. Or you can cry. I don't care. I'm not going to judge you for that. I've been there, done that. I love you guys. If you need something, give me a call. Let me know what kind of things you've been through. And don't don't worry, guys. I'm telling you. Life is not that hard. Depression will go away after divorce. Just step away from it. Embrace the world you live in and know things will get better. Love you guys. Ramblin' Man out.